Here we are again. We back. We had to eat dinner. Now we're working on putting the muffler back on. <clears throat> we couldn't find the nuts for the muffler, and then we got to talking about it. And somebody had put the wrong nuts on it to start with and boogered up their studs, and we had to fix them and get the right nuts out of the drawer. <clears throat> Yeah, they didn't have to put washers on this stuff. They just about need washers on They just think, about messed them up. I think they're going to have to put washers on there because it ain't sitting right. Yeah, somebody boogered it up pretty bad. Well, there's enough room to put a washer on. Probably not. There'll probably be another issue we face. So I'll just wind up getting after Martha's muffler going. Might not be a bad idea. I think this bubble fit in that other place, place you had one missing. Yeah. Maybe right here. I mean, I've got some little washers. We can give one a shot. Huh? So we could give one a shot. They're not good. <coughs> We're hefty washers. Yeah, All I just got to do is hold the muffler on. How bad could it be? <laughs> yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. This about didn't give us enough stud to put a washer on in. Yeah. yeah. That's the problem too. Don't make them easy. <laughs> They're tiny. Put the Ugga Dug out on there. There it is. <laughs> Just gotta say that and scare it. Scare it on there. We'll use the Ugga Dug if you don't want to fit. If you don't fit, we'll make you go. <laughs> them threads is kind of messed up on them studs a little bit. Yeah, they're not. Somebody runs standard nuts up on it. We tried to straighten them out best we could, and they look like they're okay, so we're gonna. Yeah. We're going to see it almost needs a muffler, so we're just going to try this one out and see what happens. It may have to have a muffler on it. I believe we're going to, I believe it's going to make it. I believe it will. We could probably jig it up and silver solder them two tubes back in the muffler, and that would help out a lot. But it really don't look too bad. It's actually a pretty good looking muffler. Man. Man. Now, now, brown cow. Muffler? We got a carbureted muffler and a muffled carburetor. There's what that what the little muffler mod looks like whenever you put put it back on the slot. Yep. It's not too bad, not too bad. It's not too bad. Well that ain't no good in there, but Yeah. I think you don't want to. 
still hit it right sometimes. That was a little aggravating. That wasn't my favorite. That wasn't my favorite bid. It's just the only one that they had at the store the day I went to get one because the other one broke. It fits its chips. If it fits its chips. Oh, you got the thing on there and the nut fell out and in there, didn't it? Yep. Back off. Yeah, them things don't always stay in there very good. I squeezed mine down on the last one and forced them back in there. They seemed to. It was in the box. Yeah. At least we didn't lose it. No, yeah. Try and see if there was enough room to. I'll probably have to loosen that screw just tight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the way it goes. Some of them things are right aggravating if they made them where they won't. But I mean, it's good they won't fall off whenever the saw's together. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> but you just gotta remember to. Should just made them where they didn't come off. And then some jack leg would have stripped them out. Probably. Possibly. They had a brand new plug in it, didn't it? Yeah, somebody put a brand new plug in it trying to get a scored saw to run. I always love that when people do that stuff. Well, yeah, that means we ain't got the new plug in it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I like it when they got new plugs in it. Yeah, and they put the right plug in too. They just put, they still ain't got no Chinese plug in it. Put the NGK in it. Put the NGK in it. Saw dog on it, it falls over. Get your bolts out of it. Sometimes the full reps are a little, uh, I don't know if I got which one's right here. Hopefully, I don't have any loose ones. Not what it's looking like. I, let's see, we got two short ones. Got these two, these two, I imagine, go in the bottom. Short ones usually do go in the bottom. Even longer. Short ones normally go in the bottom. If yeah, they don't, they'll go one. through and hit the case. I've seen a couple of 550s that people, 550, 562s that people run along bolts and bottom and wore holes in the case. Oh, I've seen that too. I've seen <laughs> 372s like that. That's like, whoopsie.
those of y'all wondering, that's a T25 Torx. It fits in the four millimeter Allen. And when they get a little wear on, they start, it starts running around circles inside of it. I mean, you can't go out and readily buy four millimeter Allens that long because they don't seem to have them for sale for whatever reason. I believe we're about ready to uh, put some gas in it. Ready to put some gas in it. See how many licks it takes to get to the center of the pussy pot. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Push water in it. Yep. Kerosene. Yeah, I don't use that high quality kerosene. These are cute. Can't tell people that. Somebody I think I'm serious. No people, we really don't use kerosene. That's 93 octane. It's a hydrocarbon. Yeah. <laughs> I was just referring to it. You're working. It's a hydrocarbon. All right, here we go. Some of people say, oh, it ain't hard to crank. You only got to pull it up 10 or 15 times. I said, yeah, you just got to warm it up. Yeah, it's one of the diesel chainsaws. <laughs> got to heat the cylinder up with a propane torch before you fire it up. Actually, why should you got to do that the other week? Oh, I have to. There's actually a diesel chainsaw on YouTube. Yeah, does it? Yeah, that's the one that I, probably the one I watched. I believe that's the only one. I thought it was kind of cool to see. It is kind of cool. It thinks smokes like There's no tomorrow. It smokes like it. So we do have jet points. All right, I believe we are ready to slap a bar and chain on it, do some fine tuning, and take it out to the wood pile. Do you have a bar and chain with it? Yes, I do. You know, say, because I'm not a homestead, sure I do. <laughs> I'll have to do some dressing and sharpen that chain. I don't know how good it is. I ain't looked at it yet. We can uh, stop this and get that done and come back and put it in some wood. We'll be back. Y'all just hang tight right there. We'll be back in like one second or two. One second. All right. Here we are. We out here in the in the woods. We're going to try this again right quick. We're going to make a few cuts with the 51, uh, the little 51, and uh, see how it does. It sounds like we might need a little bit more muffler opening than what we have. So uh, if that be the case, we'll take care of that, and then uh, you'll see again later. But we won't have time to do it tonight. But uh, he going to fire it up and try it out, and then we'll go from there. Here we go.
it seems to have a good bit more power than what they normally have. We, uh, to me, it sounds like the muffler opening needs to be just a wee bit larger. We got people dinging us while we're out here uh, trying to video. But, uh, hope y'all like the way that cuts. We're going to make another little video here on another saw. And, uh, we'll see y'all later. Bell Harbor out. Bye.